What's up, everybody, and welcome to an all-new episode of Casters of Horror. I'm Chris Mass. I'm Shane, and this week we roll the dice with another Blumhouse film. It's imaginary. Imaginary. Yes. Almost imagining that I never... Wa- no, um, so yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, imagine we never watched this one. Uh, yeah, so this was uh, written and directed by Jeff Wadlow, um, who also did Truth or Dare. Um, he did, uh, geez, what else did he did? Um, I had him pulled up, and then all of a sudden I was like, nope, I'm not going to look at it. Uh, the Strain, Kick-Ass 2, um, Bates Motel, he did a few episodes of that. Yeah. Cry Wolf, he wrote that. Prey. Uh, not the good one, um, <laughs> but he also uh, directed uh, la, 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 Fantasy Island, Truth or Dare, uh, Kick Ass Two. So anyway, he's 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 been around for a little while. He's he's done a few things, but dabbled in the genre a bit. Dabbled in the genre, and once again, uh, it's it's a Bloomhouse film. It's hit or miss, uh, yes, it and is. Um, and uh, you either have some of the the best horror that's coming out or some of the most generic horror and we will see where this film lands on this list but uh anyway uh the film is uh basically around this family uh it's a uh a guy and his two daughters and the stepmother who uh the new girls are kind of getting used to her, the new stepmother and all this and they end up moving back to her old home that she grew up in yeah. um and uh one of the young girls finds this teddy bear and starts having imaginary playtime with it or is it imaginary <laughs> um so don't read the imdb I'm going to put it that way. Uh, yeah. If if you don't want the whole film spoiled for you, don't read the IMDb description. Yeah. In one um, sentence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In one sentence, they they give the whole twist of everything away. Um, so anyway, uh, if you guys want to go into this uh, not having any idea what's going on, don't read it. Um, <laughs> anyway, I, yeah. So I guess I'll, I'll jump into this one. Okay. Might as well. Um, I had heard things about this film going into it um, that uh, it was not good, uh, that it was horrible, not worth your time, stay away from it, um, didn't care for it, uh, blah, blah, blah. One of the worst movies to come out. Uh, the movie sits at close to two hours. Yeah. Um, it's, it's an hour and 45 minutes. Um, yeah. and all I can say to this movie was it was generic and just kind of there. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it really didn't have any, any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Any, uh, gravitas any anything that i was not expecting <laughs> didn't have anything that, <laughs> that yeah. i that yeah. caught me off guard um it was pretty mundane um is it worth your time checking out if you can see it for free and you have a free evening or afternoon i'm not yes. saying i'm not saying that it's going to ruin your day i'm not saying that it's one of the worst movies that i've seen on this podcast or anything like that. It's just kind of there. It's very paint by numbers horror. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if you're talking about a hit or miss from Bloomhouse, this one was just a safe play by them. Um, that's a good way to put it. This was a very safe horror movie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. They weren't risking anything by, by this film. Um, I didn't think that the acting was horrible. I didn't think, I mean, I've seen worse. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, On on that note, I will say this is one of the few movies where I actually think the kids did a much better job than the adults in this film. Yeah. No, the the kids kids did especially, especially like the main girl. I'm actually really impressed with her performance. Um, Yeah. 
Some of the adults, though, have some of the most generic wooden dialogue and delivery of that dialogue yes. that I have ever heard in a movie. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what, what were your what were your besides besides the uh, now tailing off of what I've said? Yeah. What What were your thoughts on it? Yeah, uh, this movie was twelve hours long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you know, this is a movie where like the f- the first ninety minutes are such a slog to mm-hmm. get through it, right? Yeah. And then, you know, the last 15, 20 minutes, I was almost <laughs> laughing, right? Because it was just kind of stupid. Yeah, I mean, I the last 20 minutes, maybe, like, there's a kernel of something there that could have been good, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. It, to me, the, the ending didn't land. Uh, all three of them didn't, didn't... None of the endings landed. It, it, it almost, (laughs) it almost seemed like, um, the ending was supposed to be like Hellraiser for kids. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Which was kind of, kind of odd to say, but, um, I mean, that's kind of what I got from it. It was that kind of vibe. Um, but it, it did, it went to this weird kids movie almost towards the end. Uh huh. Which I thought was kind of odd. Um, yeah. But... I, it, you know, this movie, I said this about Night Swim. Uh, mm-hmm. It was that it was just such a generic, you know, thing where you could almost pick out the things that were going to happen just because, you know, you've seen this movie before, right? You know, you've got the, the lonely little kid. You've got the absolute jerk of a teenager. You've got the... Yeah the parent who's oblivious and not there and the step parent yeah. who's trying to, to you know, hold it all together, hold it all together. Yeah. The, the weird older person, you know, it's just, yep. it's like all the elements are there. It's just like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was very safe. It was a very cliche. Yeah. It was very, um, I think that the movie, there was promise there. I mm-hmm. think that there could have been uh, a lot done with it, but yeah. I just, I don't think it was fleshed out. I don't either. And well. and one thing I will say is there is an episode of Supernatural that deals with like this sort of thing and it's half as long. So go watch that go. instead. <laughs> there you go. Well, let us know what you guys think. Did you guys check out uh, Imaginary? Are you going to check out Imaginary? Um, do you have an Imaginary friend yourself? If you do, Put it all down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Uh, that way uh, we don't just imagine that people are watching these. Um, yeah. So, uh, it, yeah. Uh, check it out if you guys want to. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Um, like I said, it's it's not like it was like anything that would ruin my day. Nah. It's just, it was okay. It, yeah. it, I mean, I don't even know if I want it. it. It was just, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I didn't it. hate it either. No. It was fine. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully uh, hopefully this next week we'll uh, we'll get one that we're like, hell yeah, that was awesome. I think we're due so one. We are due. <laughs> we are due a good one. But anyway, uh, that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, I am Christmas. I'm Shane. Get the hell out of here. See ya. We'll see you guys.